the Mesa Boogie Studio preamp. This preamp is really, really, really popular or very famous because not only Kurt Cobain used it, uh, basically it's in his entire career, or I mean, in Bleach, in Bleach era, he wasn't using this kind of stuff, you know, but he was using the Randall Commander 2. Uh, but once star the uh, nevermind era uh he started to use this kind of preamp and also some people some people said that um that he used this one as well but this one it was more for going to the recording studio because it's more practical it's just a combo amp this is a a studio point 22 plus which is basically the same thing, but uh, a combo amp. One speaker, 12 inch, uh, basically is the same kind, uh, how I can say, functions. The only difference is that uh, the preamp, it has uh, this other option, for example, the, the, the Rhyme Bright, uh, this kind of lead to, let you know when when whatever op, whatever um whatever function or option is on uh it has this one for to um or this is more for you know for when you have the foot switch like this you have another option okay let me explain you this quick because um probably well i'm i'm watching many times especially when i didn't have this kind of gear on Google, they they were saying, um, for example, if you if you're looking for information about what kind of gear Kurt Cobain used um, in his uh, tour, so they mentioned this one as uh, Studio Point Twenty Two Plus, but this is not Studio Point Twenty Two. This is a preamp. This is just Studio Preamp. Here it is. This is is the Studio Point Twenty Two Plus, and Plus I I I believe is is um before this amplifier exists Studio Point Twenty Two without Plus, and the Plus is more like the next one. <laughs> I mean, at least that is what I understand. So this is um the Mesa Boogie Studio preamp, and this it has, of course, the input and the foot switch op uh. Yeah, input. Uh, you can have it on the, right here in the, in, the, in the front panel, but I also you can have it in the back. I can show you now because I have this thing in this case. So, but um, you have that option. If you want to have this, the, you know, the panel or the front of the preamp, uh, like, like this, without any cable, you can leave it and you can plug your guitar in the back. Same like your full switch. Uh, it has um, the equalizer uh, with the knobs option, and as well, you have this one with the with the bar EQ. Uh, you can have both together using uh, the foot switch because and uh, and uh, and, and uh, if you don't want it with the foot switch, you can leave it already uh, connected each other. Uh, for example, I don't really remember. I I don't want to speak like random here. But and if uh, here are three options talking about the EQ, right? So it's one, the two, and the number three. So one of these, I don't know if it's this one, is this one or that one. Um, but um, you have the option to have only the uh, the the knob equalizer, just this one. These are unplugged. These are not working. I mean, if you have in this option, so. But I, I don't know that option, then you can have both. So you can have a whatever, uh, for example, you can have an everything here, number five, and right here you can put like a, a little more meat, a little more bass, a little more treble, and uh, you can basically make your own custom sound, and uh, which I think is, is really cool, because this kind of amplifier, normally, uh, the Mesa Boogie, it, it sounds sometimes like a with a lot kind um, a lot bass sound, so it's not like the Twin River, the Fender Twin River. It's not like uh, Marshall amplifier. Then are like a little more 
crispy or more uh, very bright. Uh, that's why I, I think it's because they are uh, giving you this option like bright, you know, brightness in the, in your, to your guitar. Same and same, same here, you know, you can have a, a lead means like a distortion, a lead dry, you can have a little more bright. Or you can have a little more fat, you know, but, but uh, the amplifier already is very fat sounding. We have here the, the Crest Audio. This is a 4801 amplifier. Uh, and um, because this preamp, maybe people doesn't know that or don't know that, um, this preamp, do, it doesn't work without a amp so you have to have a whatever if it's this one or it's another one mesa boogie or it's another one pv or it's another one it doesn't matter but you need an amp power a power amp to make this work you know because this thing you won't make it make it work it's only plugging in your guitar and the two speakers because it's a preamp so you need an amp so Sometimes this is a very controversial, uh, not maybe controversial, but, but many people were saying or were asking about why Kurt Cobain, talking about Kurt Cobain, because we, we before Kurt Cobain, because this kind of preamp, it was used for James Heathfield from Metallica. And uh, you, what I know, I think he, he what I know is he used it for um, Unjustice for All. In that album and I think a master of puppets and I don't know if he was using I think yes uh, with the black album anyway and many other people I don't I think I think son no I, I, I don't want to speak just crazy things here but I think Santana used to use this kind to uh, I think um, David Gilmore I guess for uh, uh, at some point in his life, I don't know, the humor from Pink Floyd, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't really, uh, I don't really recall, I can think, I think I can say, recall, or I don't really remember, um, about that, because I, I'm more focused about, I mean, guitarists than I like, in my, in my, in my, my case, I have this gear, because I'm, I really like Nirvana, um, and, um, Yes, I'm fan in, in Nirvana and everything, but um, probably in these days I'm I, I don't really listen too much Nirvana because you know it's nothing new to hear. I already hear <laughs> the whole the whole uh, album, so I you know. But uh, it's nice to just make experiment with uh, Kurt Cobain's gear to see you know how these things works. So uh, like I was saying, many people was asking me about the different with the the crown amp which i have uh and this one the crest 4801 in my opinion to to be honest uh because i have both um in my opinion i think this is more practical amp because you have the control right here in the front you can you can you can have <clears throat> i'm sorry you can have the the control right to your, you know, close to your hand if you're playing, especially if you are, if you are a big artist, like, you know, like, okay, let's say it, like Kurt Cobain, like Jim Heathfield, you have, you want to have the control right here, it's saying like this, you just try to imagine that if you, if you have this control in the back, you know, you have the nice sound and everything, but I don't know, you want something a little more, whatever, you, it would be very uncomfortable going in the back, so this, the, the crown have this kind of controls in the back but the knobs are very very tiny very very tiny and uh i i don't know that's my 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 option some people say well the engineer or whatever uh kurt cobain or whatever he it was for the sound of course maybe it sounds better this one but in my opinion well i i test both which is the same preamp and to me it sounds the same thing i mean i don't i don't hear any like uh, wow it's a big difference it's amazing no i think it's more for this option you know mm. and uh it's more practical even even if it's if it's for for the guitarist and on the stage especially if it's in the night or if it's a big stage 
it's more practical this and you can see the levels here the leads you know the power going to the output going to um the speakers so you can have the control here the channel uh, channel a and channel b means like the stack one or stack two so it means like it could be like four um, a cabinet uh four by twelve to this channel and four by twelve to the other channel or it could be i don't know whatever uh uh four i mean eight by twelve right here and eight by twelve right here i, I don't know i mean it's um and you can just put it like a lot power right here and maybe this one a less or whatever or i don't know so the thing is 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 that um what else um so we have another thing i want to say because i make a video in spanish about this and i think it's very interesting to speak about 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 this one explaining it because it's a it's very important because like you know this is uh one of my other videos that i i have in my channel speaking about this this uh gear um and have a lot of views because a lot of people want to know um normally videos on youtube is are only playing and playing and playing but uh, nobody is explaining or talking about at least what are their opinion about this gear I, i'm giving you my opinion and i'm i'm telling you what i experiment or what, what i hear with these things but um for example other thing i want to say is so what i was saying uh like this you can have uh just the knob eq and with the other one you can have both you know and the other one another option i guess is like this you can control you can control uh you have this already on so you can control this option, this, the, the bar EQ, with, with the foot switch. You can do that. I, what I don't really remember, I think I think still you can have the option for that. But anyway, I will say it. I, I, I want to say like I, what I don't really remember it was, or it is, um, that if uh, I'm using it, for example, with the rhythm guitar and uh, just this EQ, so I press the, 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 the foot switch and now I have both uh, EQs on. So the knobs and the bar. But, uh, and then I press again and come back to just one. I think having it in this option, if, I, if, I'm, if I, I'm not wrong, when you have in this option, so now you can have the EQ this was the knob eq and when you press here it, it turned on the distortion but with the bar eq so you can have uh, basically your custom sound because you can have your clear guitar setting whatever you want here if you want a very bright if you want a very yeah bright because this kind of amplifier are very dark if you want a very bright, for example, I don't know, you can you can have it over here, the, 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 the treble knob number seven, the bass number five or four, mid number six or whatever you want. And you can have your own custom sound and clean tone. And then when you press the, the switch for the, the distortion, then it will turn completely a different, a different uh, EQ, for example, like this. I mean, what I say here, treble number seven, bass number five, uh, mid like a number six or whatever you want, is completely different. I mean, than something like this, right? Or something like like this, or something like this, you know. But this is something very cool in my opinion because you are not to you are not only have the option with the EQ like this, and you press your distortion. And will still sound the EQ like this, you know. And you take off the, you, you turn off the, the the distortion pedal, and then you come back to the clean tone, but it's still the same setting there, the EQ. I think it's really cool that you ha you can have uh, the EQ here in the in your clean tone, and this whatever you want. And when you press the the the, the distortion of the preamp. It turned to a completely different sound. That's a, that, in my opinion, is great. I mean, that's a, that's a cool. 
So the other things we have here is our, our these kind of knobs, are these two knobs here, the channel one uh, or channel A and channel B, you know, this is the output level and um, it will it will give you the power to what I was saying here. This is the the, 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 the power amp, right? But this is that is like the level, so that you can give it the, the how much output you want to give to those stack. You know, it's like the volume um, going out. So I don't really I when I'm using this thing, I'm use I'm use using um, a Marshall cabinet four by twelve. I'm not using big stack. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean I'm just using just something pretty uh, simple or standard. Anyway, um, what else? <clears throat> this one, it doesn't have it because this is more simple. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't, you, you, you can't have the control for take off the distortion or give it more, or, I mean, these kind of options right here. You don't have it here. Mm, you can control your, your thing here, you know, your lead master, your whatever, with the foot switch. That's it. So well, I hope you like this video. Um, I decided to make it in English because I just make uh, in one in Spanish already. So I thought, well, I, I let me make one in, in 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 English because because I think this is this is a this is a very cool uh, video speaking about this this gear, and I know many people that follow in my channel they only speak in english so i just try to once in a while speak in english my you know maybe i'm not a master in english like wow this man is amazing doesn't have any accent no but i'm trying to do the best for you guys for all the people who really you know uh, comment the video in english or follow me in my social media so uh, people that doesn't speak spanish so that those people then don't speak Spanish, you know, and, and follow me. Thank you so much because I know it's like a little hard, I guess, follow somebody that speak a different language than you. But I'm trying once in a while, like I say, uh, make a videos like this in English. I'm probably a very shy person, so I sometimes I don't I don't want to like I don't know speak in English. <laughs> Not because I don't like because I live in the United States, but it's more because I don't know. Probably I'm I'm shy maybe. Anyway, uh, if you want to follow me on my social media, you can. I will leave you some links there in the description of this video. I can You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And also, you can, I will leave you some links there about my music, my albums. And I really, really appreciate if you check it out. And uh, if you want to support me, uh, buying an, a CD or by, buying a, a, a vinyl or or buying the, the the whole album and and digital and download I, I would really appreciate that so i will leave you some links if you want to support me i have um my music in, is uh in spanish but in english i have a few songs in english well basically my my new album loneliness is more in, in english than in spanish so if you want to check it out thank you for your support guys so i'll see you next time here in your channel with Oscar Stalin. Yeah.